Hello and welcome to this video where I will review and update to one of our features in PLS CAD, Swap Attachments. Before we start talking about the updates for this feature, let's review the recommended set numbering configuration. Unless you're already working with clients that have their set numbering standardized, you may take advantage of these recommendations. This is the set numbering configuration that you will see in our demonstration. The path to this tool has not changed from the previous version. You can still navigate to Sections, Swap Attachments to activate this tool. The main update to this feature is a graphical aid that makes it a lot easier to identify the sets and faces you are trying to grab. Let's look at this dead end structure. I'm going to pick one of the sets. As soon as you zoom in into it, you will see a pie configuration that will show the active sets and faces. In this case, set 6, 1 and 16, 1. Also notice that the set 6, 1 is labeled ahead because it is associated with the ahead span. Sec 16 1 is labeled back because it is associated with the back span. You can identify any structures ahead and back spans by activating the show string in directions display option under drafting, display options, show a string in direction. Now let's take a look at a tangent structure this time. Since there is only one attachment point, the Python configuration is not available anymore. However, the new graphical aid highlights the conductors ahead and back spans when moving from one side of the attachment to the other. Next items to cover are a few examples where this tool can be used. Let's say you made a mistake when graphically stringing a conductor. You can see in this example that the conductor was attached to the incorrect set and face. After selecting the sub-attachments tool, you can zoom in at the attachment you're interested in. You can select it and then drag it to the correct location. Notice that when dealing with sets and with multiple faces, all the faces will be corrected as well. Let's look at another example when transitioning from a vertical framing into a horizontal framing. You can grab one of the attachments and drag it to a different attachment point and try different configurations until you find the most practical one. Another use for this tool is to identify the correct set and face when multiple sets and faces have been assigned to the same location. You can zoom in into the attachment, select it and drag it into the correct set and face. For more information about our software, including additional videos and technical notes, please visit our website at www.powerlinesystems.com. For inquiries regarding our software, price quotations, technical support, or other information, please send us an email using the email addresses listed on the screen. Thank you for watching this demonstration and for your interest in PLS software, the industry standard in overhead line design.